Good evening and welcome to Liberal Liger News. You have chosen the number one newscast in the Pacific Northwest for top liberal stories. Tonight we have the latest on race, states deciding American lives, who really should be allowed to have a gun, and lastly, what states will allow love. On August 9th, 2014, Michael Brown, an 18-year-old black man, was fatally shot by Darren Wilson, a white police officer, after an altercation in the streets of Ferguson, Missouri. Brown and his friend Dorian Johnson were walking down a residential street when Wilson stopped them for suspicious activity. Wilson then hit Brown when he opened the door and a struggle ensued in the police officer's SUV. Two shots were fired and Brown was hit once in the arm. Brown then fled the scene and was backing up with his arms raised when Wilson fired his gun and struck Brown six times, killing him. But now, forensic evidence has shown that blood was found in the cop's car. Officer Wilson claims there was a struggle in the police SUV. These new facts will make it harder for the prosecutors to convict Wilson on state charges, such as manslaughter or murder. On January 1, 2013, a 29-year-old woman named Brittany Maynard was diagnosed with brain cancer. She plans to end her life on November 1st by ingesting a lethal dose of a prescribed medication. To do so, she had to move to Oregon to secure the right to die. This is a move that is difficult for most Americans to make. There are currently only five states, Vermont, Montana, Oregon, and New Mexico that recognize the right to die. Assisted suicides have been heavily debated across the United States. Americans tend to suffer from death denial because we tend to stray away from the subject of death. For many people, assisted suicides provides a sense of relief and comfort. In Oregon, 1,170 people have received prescriptions for aid in dying, but only 752 people have died. If one is suffering from a mental or debilitating physical disability, one should have the right to choose whether to continue living or to end his or her life. Now to Alexis, who was around Seattle interviewing citizens about this sensitive topic. How do you feel about assisted suicide? I think it should be up to the person. Is it wrong for the government to make their own ruling on this matter? I don't think it's right for the government to make ruling on it because it takes away human rights. Thank you. Now back to you. The government has been very irresponsible selling guns, and the problem is at an all-time high. Guns cause too much harm to a country. There are 34,500 names in New York's database that own firearms. After the horrific shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary, this database was created as well as the SAFE Act. The SAFE Act is used for banning assault weapons to those categorized as people who may hurt themselves or others, based on reports from mental health professionals. Americans demand safety. Wouldn't it be nice to walk around our hometowns without fear? Sadly, the truth is, it is very easy to get a gun. This needs to be fixed. The Washington Post says it's a balancing act with our general safety and our Second Amendment rights. In New York, 144,000 people were admitted into private psychiatric hospitals in 2012. Those people are, are eligible for their gun rights to be revoked because of people with a violent history or a history of poor mental health should not be allowed to carry guns. Our public safety is in the hands of the government, and all we can do is hope that they know what they're doing. Dangerous people come from hospital reports with diagnosis of schizophrenia, psychosis, or major depression. This needs to be recognized. We need stricter gun laws. Our safety is important. On Friday, October 17, 2014, Congress recognized same-sex marriages in seven new states. Colorado, Indiana, Nevada, Oklahoma, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Utah. Due to this, the U.S. government will provide federal benefits to same-sex couples in these seven new states. There are currently 26 states where the federal government recognizes gay marriages, and hopefully in the future, there will be 24 more. And in Arizona, the ruling bans state officials from outlawing gay marriages. Thank you for joining us here today, bringing you the best of cable news in the Pacific Northwest. Big thanks to our sponsors, Urban Outfitters, Whole Foods, and Trader Joe's. Good night and a pleasant tomorrow.